welcome to make me scientific today i'm going to perform a demonstration in biology which involves photosynthesis in case of aquatic plants aquatic plants may take in carbon dioxide from air or water depending on whether their leaves float or are under water aquatic plants do not require any special adaptations to perform photosynthesis they can take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen this is a very good demonstration for all science students from grade 7 to grade 12 for this demonstration we shall be requiring forceps glass funnel a 500 ml beaker and few hydrilla twigs in a petri dish Hydrilla, also known as water thyme, is a genus of aquatic plant. It is a native to cool and warm waters of Asia. Stems usually grow up to about 1 to 2 meters long. Its leaves are arranged in walls of 2 to 8 around the stem. Each leaf is about 5 to 20 mm long as well as 0.7 to 2 mm broad. It is cultured in labs as shown here. Add about 200 ml of water into the beaker. With forceps, place the hydrilla twigs into the funnel as shown. Invert the funnel into the beaker as shown. Photosynthesis is a process used by plants to produce starch in presence of carbon dioxide, sunlight and water. Photosynthesis is a slow process so we have to be very patient for oxygen bubbles to come out. After 3 hours, we are noticing large number of bubbles gathered on the inner side walls of the funnel. Let's watch the bubble formation in slow motion. I hope you have enjoyed the experiment. Thanks for watching.